It is the 11th of the 5th, 2013, and this is your radioactive reality. Hard to believe one week from today I'll be on the road heading for the Appalachian Trail. If you want to help me out, still a chance, I'll put a PayPal link down below. I appreciate all the help everybody's given me. Thank you. On to the headlines. e, &E News. Kyoto. Terror drill at Fukushima nuclear plant. Fears about, about highly fragile cooling systems. Now apparently the police and military did an anti-terrorist drill on the Fukushima Diani, that's the number two plant, um, in preparation saying the Fukushima Diani is a too juicy of a target for terrorists and blah blah blah. So they're doing uh, terrorist drills at these nuclear power plants in Japan. Vibrations cause shutdown of U.S. nuclear reactor. Crews forced to wait hours to get into the area. The Dominion Virginia Power was in the process of restarting, uh, restarting it, and the unit was 60% power shortly after 6 a.m. Friday, when operators detected greater than normal vibrations in part of the mechanism used to start to start the reactor. They manually shut it down. So more problems at nuclear power plants, they just continue and continue. They need to shut all of these down. Uh, footage of a large breach at Giant Louisiana Sinkhole that's Bayou Corn. Of course, it's ever-expanding, and the situation continues. Five breaches overnight at Gi Giant Louisiana Sinkhole. Water levels not stabilized, continues to fill sinkhole and containment area. Emergency uh, decontamination needed in places used by Fukushima kids. Highly radioactive material accumulating. City official, many times higher than previous record, record for urban areas. And they've just declared a lot of these areas safe. Come on back, people. TEPCO to demolish makeshift cover at the Fukushima reactor number one. Trying to remove radioactive material will take four years for a new one. And you got to remember, number one exploded too. And they put this great big tarp over the top of it. Uh, now that tarp is starting to wear out and they are getting around to actually cleaning up around reactor number one. U.S. nuclear site cleanup may be too dangerous. Plutonium could um, congregate to trigger nuclear chain reaction. Problems at Hanford, a showstopper, quote unquote. Hanford just continues to be a major problem for the United States and the upper Midwest. Um, if you're anywhere near or around this plant, I think they found six more tanks leaking uh, on top of all the other blah blah blahs. But don't worry folks, it hasn't made it to the Columbia River yet. Hot particle detected at leaking tank in U.S. nuclear plant. Significant radioactive contamination in the water, and this is the Palisades plant. Uh, worry about, quote, wall of water heading towards control room at U.S. nuclear plant if leaking 300,000 gallon tank fails, question mark. Flood control berm in place, and this is again at Palisades, that great big tank they've been having problems with. Well, they went ahead and put a big berm around the control room, so if that tank does give out completely, uh, the control room won't be flooded. The insanity continues. Cover over reactor number one to be removed at Fukushima plant, of course. Radiation levels expected to rise. That cover's been holding back a lot of that gamma. Uh, Tokyo now dumping contaminated water from Fukushima plant into the ocean openly. 200 tons of radioactive groundwater has been pumped out. And uh, they're just getting around to ask the fishermen if that's okay to do on this uh, temporary process. The situation is ongoing and you remember they're pumping so much water out from underneath Fukushima Diachi that the buildings are starting to sink. So the insanity continues. It just continues to continue, huh? Over to uh, informidable news. Investigators from the Nuclear Regulatory Commission are still unable to explain why a crane accident at the Arkansas Nuclear One nuclear power plant which killed one 24-year-old employee and, in, and injured eight others, happened. On Thursday night, a meeting was held at the nuclear power plant in Russellville, Arkansas, to discuss the findings. There were about 90 people that actually showed up to this meeting. Workers were attempting to move generator stator, which weighs some 525 tons, when the crane failed and dropped the slater. An investigation by the Occupational Safety and Health Administration is still underway. 
I wonder if we'll ever see the report on that. Well, that's about all I have for you today. Of course, if I missed anything, please leave your comments or attach your videos below. Enjoy what you can, everybody. Thanks. One more week. One more week.